I'm Timo Myllymäki and I'm repairing here a Busher Aristocrat alto saxophone from 1940s. Its nickname is a Big B, which comes from the engraving in the bell depicting, well, a Big B. This horn has not been used for several years and it has probably been laying in a cold, damp attic. I reckon this because of the smell and the amount of green conch. This horn has some dents and most of the keys are frozen, but it is still worth to be made playable again. Busher began making musical instruments in late 1800s, and when the aristocrat model was introduced in 1930s, it was considered the top of their line. It was the model that brought saxophone and jazz to everyone's lips. Many jazz greats, like Sidney Beckett, Johnny Hodges and Charlie Parker used Bushers, and the last two of these three used this exactly same model. But that's enough about history. I'll now start working on this horn. First I need to disassemble all the keys and putting some penetration oil helps with that. Heating helps to draw the oil to hinge tubes. The upper stack is so frozen that only keys wiggle when I try to undo the screw. It needs more time and oil, it's a game of fatigue. And finally you hear that satisfying snap when the screw comes loose. I'll then wash and decrease the body and do a chemical flush to remove all the green and red gunk. I'll do the final cleanup with a rag. Taking out dents from neck. And taking out dents from body. I will use magnetic dent ball system for taking out the dents from bell bow. I'm checking the tone holes for straightness and as you can see this is not straight. I need to file it down. And now the tone hole is straight again. I need to deburr the sharp edges that came from filing. I will use some black oxide to get a nice and even patina to the raw brass surface. That came out pretty nice. All the green and red gunk is caught and there is nice patina. I will also polish the keys by puffing them with Tripoli. Then I'll start to check the key fitting. Most of the keys are too loose in their hinge tubes, so I need to switch them tight and then straighten the tube ends. I'll use this tool to file the tube ends straight. I will check the straightness of the key cups also. Then I'm dry fitting the pads to the key cups. This saxophone still has the original pusher snap-on resos. I will check that all keys close nice and even.
I'll glue the pads with a little shellac. It isn't necessary with snap-on pads, but I have found it useful for seating the pads and also keeping the pad in place in case the snap would fall off. Then I will check the neck joint. This neck is a little loose in its receiver, so I will expand it to fit it properly. Now the neck has nice tight fit. And finally gluing the new neck cork. Sand it down and check that the mouthpiece fits on. The saxophone is now ready for playtesting. This is one of the most rewarding moments. saxophone is now ready to go. It took some time, but it was definitely worth the effort. I hope you found this video useful. If you like my videos, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.